Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, considering the power of God's love at work in the heart of man, the power of God's love at work in you. Praise God. Now, first, you must understand that God loves you. And now he's shown it, he's demonstrated his love towards us by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. John chapter 3 and verse 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you. And then he wants you to discover that love and believe in that love and then begin to respond to him with that love. Praise God. And the miracle of transformation is in loving God in return. That means you now respond to the love of God in you. It changes everything about your life. The operation of the love of God in your heart demonstrated towards God demonstrated towards the brethren, people around you, changes everything about you. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 tells us, it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to His purpose. All things work together for good to them that love God. Now listen very carefully, the oppression of the love of God in your heart towards God and towards the brethren brings you into a place of advantage where all things work together for your good. No matter what the enemy does against you, understand that all things are working together for your good. Joseph said to his brethren, you meant it for evil but god has turned it around in my favor for my good listen very carefully all things work together for your good as long as you let the operation of the love of god continue in your heart towards god in exercising yourself towards god and exercising yourself in love towards men people around you there is an advantage that gets you into. It get, gets you into an advantage of having all things working together for your good. Listen, beloved, choose love, not hatred. Choose love, not strife. Choose love, not unforgiveness. Let go of bitterness. All things are working together for your good. Your faith is strengthened and energized by the oppression of the love of God in your heart. The Bible says hope does not make ashamed. Why? Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost that God has given unto us. So you see, hope will not become hopeless because of the oppression of love. Um, it will not be hope deferred, making your heart sick, because the love of God is working in your heart. The reason a lot of people expect a miracle and it never comes is because they have cut short the flow of love in their hearts towards somebody or someone around them and so the, they can't see the fruition of their hope and it becomes hope deferred and it makes their heart sick. But hope does not make ashamed when love is at work in our hearts. The power of God's love in your heart. Let the love of God work in you and flow through you towards God in acting on his word and doing what he tells you to do and towards your brethren in loving them in compassion praying for them and giving to meet their needs praise god this is how to see the miracle power of god's love at work in your life i believe you've been blessed today until i come your way again tomorrow keep living and basking in the sphere of grace i love you and god bless you